Well, I think it's important for certain films to be fun. I mean, I think if you're making a comedy and it's not fun, I think you're in quite a lot of trouble. I mean, I don't... I'm making fun films, I think, but that may be just a reaction to sort of, you know, how I find life and, and I just want to kind of feel more liberated and jump into a, into a sort of escapist fantasy when I'm making films. But, uh, but when I watch films, I watch quite a lot of serious, you know, turgid, like very long Greek films, lonely men walking along beaches and, uh, and I'm quite happy watching that. I, I, I have quite a lot of fun watching really miserable films. With this current film, every element in it is, is, is conceivable or feasible nowadays and so all the art department, absolutely everything is like, it's real stuff but it's kind of, I suppose if you exclude various things you end up creating a very specific world that feels um, you know, quite contrived. Am I trying to make something real? No, I'm not, no. I mean, I'm trying to make something that nobody else has seen before, I think. I don't think at all about how to make something that's memorable. I just trust that, I think I've lived with my, myself long enough to know that the way that I'm, the path that I'm going down is probably not the path that quite a lot of people are going down and I just, I just have an instinct of what I find uh, interesting or significant or important or funny or, you know, and, and consequently hopefully memorable, you know, and um, I don't really make sort of predictable formulaic work, so I think it's memorable, maybe to some people for the wrong reasons, you know, but it's, it's definitely quite distinctive. I do write some parts with certain actors kind of in mind but it, but it's more just it's a bit like when you read a book and you start to imagine how someone looks it's just so that you can sort of keep keep going when you're writing a script and just sort of feel kind of consistent about a character but I'm not I'm not writing for an actor to be a certain way like I, I would if I if I hire an actor to be in a film and I would want them to deliver a performance that was different to any performance that I maybe even knew they were capable of, there's no point one of them existing without the other. I don't know. I suppose I would say the script is more important than the people delivering it because the people, if the people were there and they didn't have a script to deliver, I think it might get pretty tiresome pretty quickly. But um, I don't know actually. Maybe it's better to have the people there and no script. I haven't heard Jermaine sing on set, I've only heard Matt sing. Um, I don't know. I think I've got a better voice than both of them, so, yeah. Just concentrating on trying to make mine even better.